This video will demonstrate cloning an existing SIX project. Uh, here I have one highlighted in the list. And a reason you might want to clone a project file would be to maybe give uh, options to the client that uh, your initial proposal, say that's your good system, and then you want to present maybe a better and a best system. Um, so the easiest way to do that is just to copy the product file and then in that copy make the changes that you need for the better and the best systems. So in that case you would copy it twice or clone it twice. So that's what I'm going to do. Um, first thing, I'm going to check the project file out. Um, as you can see it's not checked out to me. You need to have custody of this project to do that. So now that it's checked out to me, I will clone it. And this will open up the clone project wizard, which is essentially the um, new project wizard. Now, um, if, this, if you're cloning a project for another client, you would select a new client from your list of already existing clients, or you could, of course, create a new client here on the fly. Uh, in this example, um, we're just going to do an options uh, scenario for the client. So I'm going to get rid of the copy of text that was added here, and I'm just going to say, you know, option two. You could do option B, whatever. Um, and it, it took over all of the project information. So essentially you're just making a copy of the project file. So I'm just gonna hit save. And uh, now it's asking, do I wanna take over um, any existing drawings? In this case, a Visio and an AutoCAD drawing exist. So I'm gonna wanna do that. You also have options down here. Um, clear install fields and schedule um, and clear accounting estimate numbers. Now, at this point in time, when you're giving a client options, chances are you haven't installed anything, scheduled anything or, um, pushed anything over to QuickBooks via our QuickBooks uh, integration. So those are good options to keep checked. Go ahead and click add. And the project file has been added here to the grid and um, it will actually open automatically for you. Uh, so you can go ahead and then make those changes.